The oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico is proving very hard to stop. It's particularly hard to stop from the top of the well, because if you seal off the top of the well, an enormous pressure builds up beneath the seal. It tends to burst it open. And if you try to push heavy drilling mud down through the top of the well, again, an enormous pressure builds up beneath the mud and tends to blow it back out of the well. So what can you do? My proposal is to focus not at the top of the well, but at the bottom of the well, and to fill the bottom of the well all the way on up for mile after mile with small objects. When there are enough small objects in the well hole and enough weight among those objects, the oil will have to flow through all the little nooks and crannies between the objects, and it will have so much trouble doing that that its flow will be reduced to a trickle. All right. Well, how are you going to get small objects to the bottom of the well? For that, we use gravity. We let gravity pull those objects through the oil down to the bottom of the well. If those objects are heavy enough and compact enough and streamlined enough, they can cut through the oil like a hot knife through butter and reach the bottom of the well, even though the oil is moving upward. So. You might think that the oil would just blow these objects upward with it, but that's not necessarily so. If those objects are capable, they're streamlined enough, they'll just go right through the oil so fast that although the oil is moving up, maybe as fast as 15 feet per second, they'll head downward. Now that 15 feet per second figure assumes the worst current prediction for the leak and the narrowest pipe in the well, which is toward the bottom. At the very bottom of the well, the casing is about seven inches in diameter. So if the, if the worst leak that's currently anticipated is passing through that seven inch pipe, the oil is moving up at about 15 feet per second. And it turns out that heavy, compact, streamlined objects made of iron, steel, or even better yet, lead, will go right through the oil so fast that they can make progress downward and reach the bottom of the well. Well, rather than just saying this, let me show you that streamlined objects made of iron can burrow their way through oil, through oil pretty well. Let me start by explaining the experiment we're about to do. I have a glass pipe, and in a moment, I'll fill that pipe with oil. After that, I'll begin dropping objects through the oil and we'll see how fast they descend. The goal of this whole exercise is to find objects that descend through the oil so fast that even though the oil in the, in the well in the gulf is heading upward, maybe even as fast as 10 miles an hour, those objects make progress through the oil faster then the oil is heading upward, and those objects therefore descend all the way to the bottom of the well, where they can accumulate and form a huge pile filling the entire well. The well, actually, I should point out, at the bottom isn't wide open. It's not a giant underground cavern full of oil. It actually is porous material, rock and, and, uh, and maybe even cement. So you really can find the bottom and fill the bottom and come all the way up the well with objects. All right? So, we're going to put oil in the well, then we're going to drop objects. My oil, well, it's not official crude oil, but it's pretty close. Nice and slippery stuff. And I'm going to pour it into our well. Here we go. All right, my goal in all this is not to get too much on myself. Here comes the oil. Well, that was fun. For our first object, I'm going to drop a steel ball bearing that's half an inch in diameter. How fast do you think this will descend through the oil? Let's give it a try. Not bad.
Next, let's try a three-quarter inch diameter steel ball. It's still steel, but it's bigger and heavier. How is that going to descend through the oil? Here it goes. Goes faster. So you can see, the bigger the steel ball, the faster it descends through the oil. Now, I can't show you any larger steel balls because I'm pretty much out of room in my little oil well. Instead, I'm going to show you streamlined objects. A ball is not streamlined. It does not slice through the, through the oil nicely. And so it experiences a lot of oil resistance as it descends. On the other hand, if you stretch out that ball into a teardrop shape or even into a steel rod, you get an object that punches through the oil much more effectively. So here I have a quarter inch steel rod, so the same material, but it's just drawn out into a long shaft. And I'm going to drop it down into my oil and let's see how fast it goes. Ready? Get set. Much faster. All right, now it's time for a half-inch steel rod. So this is about as, as large around as I can drop in my little oil well. Let's see how fast it goes. Ready? Get set. Right to the bottom. So there you have it. Steel objects can descend through oil surprisingly quickly, particularly if they're streamlined as fast as 10 feet per second for this half inch steel rod. And if we could go to thicker rods, they'd go down even faster. But I'm out of room in my little oil well here. It's kind of a worst case scenario because I've got thick oil in there and a narrow pipe and the oil is having trouble flowing out of the way of the, the objects I'm dropping through it. In the more open environment of the actual oil well, these objects would go down even faster. And if I replace the steel with lead, which is a denser metal, they'd go down faster still. Well, is that fast enough? 10 feet per second, 15 feet per second, 20 feet per second? What's in the range of these pieces of metal? Turns out it is. If you take the worst case current estimate for the leak rate from the well, and you send that oil through the narrowest part of the well, which is near the bottom, where it's seven inches in diameter, that oil is moving at a speed of about 15 feet per second. So even this half inch rod, like this, would make it into that area. It might not make it to the very bottom of the well, because the well is tape and has various uh, diameters as it tapers its way up to the surface. But it would make it most of the way to the bottom of the well. And a thicker rod would make it all the way to the bottom of the well. So you could actually fill the entire well from the bottom all the way to the top with pieces of metal. And when you do that, the oil is going to have an incredibly difficult time wending its way through all the nooks and crannies in that big pipe. It's you know, a couple miles of pipe full of pieces of metal. It's going to be hard for the oil to wend its way through. It'll just rub against the surfaces and run out of energy. And the leak rate will drop from whatever it is in the millions of gallons per day to just a trickle.